assalamu alaikum the director that i'm meeting today is somebody that i've been wanting to interview for the longest time i'm meeting him today for the first time but uh, i'm very familiar with his work i think we all are um, there are ways of describing him i would describe him as unconventional artistic creative uh, non commercial people who don't like him will call him bold but <laughs> <laughs> they call him bold in a bad way but i'd say that asim abbasi's work is bold but in a good way uh, he directed a movie called cake he's also helmed a lot of short films and uh, about 3 uh, years ago he directed and wrote a series called chorels which half of pakistan hated and half of pakistan loved so now he's got another series coming up it's streaming on z5 it's going to be starring fawad khan and sanam saeed i think the introduction has gone on for long enough let's meet asim abbasi how are you i'm good nice to be here with you good intro Yes, very good. Do you think <laughs> bold? Think, bold. It's true. Bold is the most is, bold is a word. overused word in Pakistan uh, and too. And it's linked with you quite often. जब से आपने चुड़ैल्स में शॉक किया है पाकिस्तान को कि ये क्या हो रहा है शॉक जब बनाते वक्त मुझे कुछ I don't know. I just I think I blocked that part of it. I was being allowed to tell a story and I was telling a story and it was for a digital platform. So I knew that I was not. under any conventional framework of television or you know so i just made what i wanted to make it wasn't you know up in hindsight people might think that you know he came out to shock or he wanted to be bold huh. or he wanted to make a statement it was none of those you things. were just telling a story i was just telling a Your story way, yeah. without any restrictions absolutely and kya barzakh bhi aisi hai telling a story your way without yes, any restrictions uh, it's very different so like you know it's i think it's what the demands of the story are like you know like chorels had like foul mouthed women because that was part of that thing you know barzakh has probably no swear words in it but it's 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 unconventional in a different way so i'm just experimenting with you know i'm learning that that's what we do we learn we try new things we see some work some don't work so it is very unconventional but it's completely unlike chorels and you're enjoying creating for a platform where there are no restrictions yes so you don't have to you know swerve the storyline yeah. so that the other commercially viable ho jaye ya koi censorship ka masla na ho hai yeah no? and i think also i think this i think we are a nation of conspiracy theories so i think when even when chorels came out there was a lot of like they must have told him what story agenda to write agenda hai you know kuch aisa kuch bhi nahi hai agenda nahi hai aapka i i work with you know just shelja you know i'm i'm not tied to the rest of z team or something i have one commissioner mm. she gets my scripts she decides whether she likes them or not if she likes them she commissions them development notes are usually is the character arc mm. being fulfilled mm. is uh, are you doing you know structural stuff narrative stuff it's never about are you thematically talking about the things that i want you to it's none of that chorels was 100% me and i think that's something that people a lot of people who are on the other camp failed to realize that that it was actually not no agenda there was no one asking me to tell a certain story and i love the freedom of course i do because there i'm working with decent budgets where i'm allowed to have a, the proper framework of taking my time to do i'm not doing 20 pages a day like you would in local television where it's like a bit of a machinery hmm. so I, i i like that i like that i have the time to do a series in a way one would do cinema so i think that that for me is the is the positive of this relationship that i have with them hmm hmm to have the budget and to have the time to creatively yeah. express yourself the way you want to absolutely you know? yeah and um, lekin aapko pata hai even your peers within the industry there were a lot of aside from the masses there were i mean us z5 pe ban nahi aaya tha to chorels jo credit card payment ban ab hai so chorels yeah. everybody got to see and then of course it filtered down to youtube and even more people saw it yeah. it was being talked about so much that i think everybody ended up seeing it <laughs> yeah. uh, so you know even a lot of directors and producers said okay this is not pakistan how could he portray pakistan yes, in such a way you're aware of this criticism from within the industry uh, yes also. i am i i think look i don't want to put words in anyone's mouth i th- i think i think there was a lot of commotion around how did this happen under our noses like how did this thing was created and became because we did it very quietly not for any yes, reason yes it was a surprise until the trailer came out nobody yes. was aware that a series of this nature ye show was bhi hai ke ha kyunki us waqt you know ko 
we didn't have to, we just quietly did our work and we kind of, you know, carried on from there. What is Pakistan? I, I don't, I don't, I never understand that question that like, it's not depicting Pakistan. We're not one unanimous piece of, Achha, you know. No, but it, I read it. No one's directly asked me that you are not representing Pakistan. But I'm like, what Pakistan do you want me to represent? Like, I'm not, I'm not, uh, uh, I'm not making some kind of an NGO patriotic film about, you know, that for me would be agenda. If I had set out to just make a promotional tourism film about Pakistan, that would be one kind of an agenda. Hmm. But to me, we are so disparate. We are so many different stratas and types of people and I think that's the beauty of humanity that we are all so different so why would I not want to capture that whether that's in terms of gender whether it's terms of um, our, our class status and how different how we negotiate our positions in this in this society mm. it's complicated and I I like talking about those complications those I, shades those layers yeah so I think yeah. So I don't know what they mean by, uh, you know, I kya you know, is there an Agenda. actual, is there an actual Churel's group? I wish there had been. I wish there was an actual Halal Designs right now, but there isn't. So I, you know, I think sometimes people give way too much credit to what films and television can achieve, to be honest. <laughs> it's a different kind of story. Barzak mein? Haan. Uh, it's a very different kind of story. It's a very, it's it's actually more uh, male focused. It's more about fathers and sons and 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 that relationship. Right? There's a lot of strong female characters and there's a big component of of that aspect of it, but done in a different way. But mostly it's about men and love and and how they negotiate their relationships with love and how they deal with loss and. Um, and yeah, those kind of aspects. I think in, in ways it's closer to cake than it is to churels. But uh, with a drama. lot it bigger is. scale uh -huh. and a lot of like magical realism because I didn't want to do a simple family drama again. I had done cake and that's what I was talking about to you earlier that I like the aspect of learning, of doing new things. Mm -hmm. You know, with churels I was... It's the first time I had done a bit of action. It was the yeah. first time I had done a bit of thriller, yes. you know, and then now with this, this is the first time I'm doing like magical realism and I'm doing like otherworldly stuff. So it's just a learning thing for me. Anyway, I just enjoy doing new things. Hmm. And Churels is also very, it was very saucy. It had punch lines. It had that dark humor yeah. in it. Yeah. Uh, Barzakh, from what I have read about it is more about feelings and emotions. Yes. It's and more still. So I think even in the way the the two things are shot are completely different. Like uh, Churel's had a lot of poppy colors. Hmm. There was a lot of flamboyance to it, huh. especially the first couple of episodes had huh. a little bit of a chick flick vibe until it became darker. Um, your camera's always moving. There's an energy to it, like a Karachi energy to it. This is, it's based in a fictional land, even though we've shot Up in, in the Hunza. mountains. Yes, but it's yeah. meant to be a fictional place. You shot Barzakh in Hunza. Yes. But it is a fictional uh, place. Yes, it's a there's fictional it, place. There's uh, no mention of Hunza. There's actually no mention of Pakistan. There's no mention of... It's just meant to be this surreal world that we've kind of created. And is it dark? Are there dark elements to it? No. They, it, it deals with death. So it depends and if you feel... And the emotions attached to so it? If, yes. So if you feel death is a dark subject, then, then perhaps. But I think we have done it with a lot of hope. And we've talked about how death is not the end. Um, and, and, and that the, the love that you carry in your so heart. So Fawad is the single father and Sanam is the wife who has died and so he's going to think about her, right? Oh, well, we don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm not going to reveal. What their relationships are. I've been are, trying to join uh, the dots. No, no. You'll be surprised. <laughs> you'll so, be, so I'm wrong then. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be surprised in terms of who's who. Um, but yeah, it's about, it's about love and it's about loss and hope. And I think it, there's a lot of stillness to it. There's a lot of quietness and 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 that's why when I was talking about Churels I was saying saying that it's shot very differently you know we have a lot of static camera we have a lot of like tracks and dolly shots and just even the camera is quiet unlike how it was in Churels and and, and everything about it feels that there's but, a tear out to it but don't you have to keep a certain pace going because it's a web series is there that concern I, no see this is the beauty that I was talking about of working with someone like Shilja where uh, you know it's never, a, at least with me, it's not a tick box exercise for her. 
So if I tell her, yes, of course, there are limitations that they're 50 minute episodes and, and they shouldn't move too, too slowly. And, and, but within a very broad framework, you know, I, I have made something that is gentler and quieter than what people are used to in terms of very fast paced web series. So it's not that it's very different from that. Uh, but I was allowed to do it. Yeah. Have people around you seen it already? Uh, some, yes. Does yes. It, is it? I think it's going to be a very emotional storyline. Are they crying at the end of it? Uh, no, I, I don't know if they're crying because again, as I said, there is a feeling of hope. So I think Achha. there's a, it's a, it's a, that bittersweet melancholic feeling that one is left with. Where and it's is it not, scary? Uh, no, it's not, not scary. scary. It's not scary. Um, it does have, as I said, otherworldly stuff in it. It has ghosts in it. It has. Uh, That's scary. Uh, no, but it's got it's got pretty ghosts. Good ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing scary about it. I think there is something very mystical about it, which is nice, but not not horror. Barzakh is uh, that space between death and life. It's limbo, right? It's the state of limbo. After death. Yes. Okay, no? So it's, it has multiple meanings and I think that's why I kind of liked it. It, it, it has a, uh, you know, it, it generates an Arabic but also Persian. Um, and uh, it is uh, in, in a very basic sense, it's also used as a word in a non-Islamic way. It's used as just anything that's a barrier or a partition between two spaces. Um, and in, in Islamic way, yes, it is. It is that space between death and your afterlife and your resurrection is the mm. space that you go to mm. after you die. So I think in a lot of ways, the connotation works because a lot of these characters, well, apart from the fact that there is a lot of purgatory limbo type of things happening in the show, but these characters emotionally are also in a state of uh, limbo. They're in a state of where they have not resolved the past feelings and they are unable to move on because they've not resolved the past, they cannot see the future. Mm. Uh, and I think it's, it's a lot of these people trying to reconcile these feelings and these emotions that they feel, whether it's a father's relationship with the son, a brother's relationship with another brother, a partner that you have lost, um, a love that was unrequited or a love that you did not get. All of these things are in a, in a state of flux where you are stuck and I think that feeling is something that we are trying to convey throughout the show. Asim, uh, it sounds so different from Chirayas, even different from Cake, those other yeah. two uh, ventures that I've seen. How do you think <laughs> of these stories? That, I mean, that, I mean, hota na ek style hota hai, right? Haan, hota. These are all very different Haan. styles Haan. Bilkul, and very different up. stories. Haan. How do you do that? Do you switch off and say, Nahi, amma, bilkul kuch different I okay, think is it just so, the mood I, that you're in? I, I think it's the mood that I'm in. I think it's also not uh, conscious. But I think I've also kind of, what is conscious, what I'm aware of is that if you do these different things, your style is going to be very different. And I like that. I don't want anyone to put me in a box that Asim is tarah ki cheeze karta hai. This tarah churels aaya, to sab ne bola, isne to cake banai thi, sweet si, family sa drama, isne churels kyo banaya, ye kya ho gaya isko, tabhi ye agenda ho But it wasn't that. It was just like I was in a different kind of a mood. I wanted something live and angry and, and full of rage. And now I wanted something that was beyond that. It's about forgiveness and it's about love. And it's it's all, yes, I go into that space, but I come out of that space, and then I go into a different space. And I think anything after that would be, you know, completely different from Barzakh. And I like that. What made you decide to cast Fawad Khan and Sanam Saeed? Is it because of the, the hype that no. they have? No. Because of Zindagi Gulzar no. hai? For, probably the least important reason really? would have been that. Because no. the minute Barzakh was announced all those months ago, year, a year about more yeah, than a yeah, year ago, yeah. uh, there's been so much excitement surrounding it, not just in Pakistan, but also in India. Yeah. Zindagi Gulzar hai is a huge hit. Yes, it is. So, But that was not your concern. No, that was not my, that was not my concern. I, I have never casted uh, based on hype. I think that's probably the wrong approach. Of course, if something comes out of it and people get excited, that's a lovely thing. You know, people I, I want to see them together in a, in, a, in a show or a film that they haven't done in a while. That's a good thing. But for me, it was purely based on the demands of the character. And I don't, when I write, I don't imagine one person in it. So it's not like I'm writing for Sanam or I'm writing for Vavad. I don't do that. I've never done that. Achha, you don't imagine no. an actor in your mind? No, I don't because okay. I find it very limiting and I find it very 
heartbreaking for whatever reason if they can't do it then i can't mm. come out with that box ke maine to sirf socha hi ye actor tha so mm. i i don't do that but once the characters were fully formed all the scripts were written uh it just sanam just felt like a natural fit um i was thinking about a couple of other actresses as well but sanam just felt like a there's a very by the way i think this is sanam's best performance to date so uh and she's done some lovely better work than before cake. yes i think so okay i think she's better in this than cake i loved her in cake but i think this is there's a there's a very s- surreal quietness and stoicism that sanam has brought to this character um uh, which i have not seen before um done in that way and i think that really excites me there's something very unique and interesting uh well about the character as well but also primarily how sanam has played it um so i think that was exciting um and i think we established that quite early on during our rehearsal process that you know that's where she was going to take it and i think she really delivered on that um fawad was a did not originate from me like like i did not Uh, and Fawad and I have discussed this later, and Fawad was like, "But I always do ensemble stuff, so but I always thought Fawad is a superstar." I was like, "Man, choti chize karta hu, ensemble chize karta hu. Why would Fawad want to do it?" So I was looking at other actors. It was my producer Wakas who was like, "Shall we take it to Fawad?" I was like, "I mean, it's got, it's it, it is an ensemble. It's not a hero-led." Achha. show. It's Achha. it's got you know Salman Saab has a big role in it. Other Fawad Khan. who was also in Chorales has a big role in it Sanam has a big role in it and Fawad has a big so there are like four or five characters that are equally divided in terms of how much screen time they have um so i was like oh i don't know you know is he's, he's molajat and he's you know he's big <laughs> so then uh, vakas was like oh let's just take the script to him and he was it was lovely the script went to him he read it very quickly he came back uh, he said send the rest of the scripts send the rest of the scripts had a zoom conversation with him um and things materialized very very quickly he liked the script he wanted to do it so then when the first rehearsal session happened i was like fawad i was like a bit worried that you know it's not it's an ensemble piece and maybe it's not a hero led thing he was like i always do ensemble stuff kapoor and sons etc etc everything is and i was like yeah he's right actually i think it's in our head that he would only want something that he is a superstar in but he's very good and he was incredible to work with on set like his relationship with other actors his relationship with me and the way he took direction and stuff there was no i think after a couple of days you you forget that you know you're dealing with someone who is so looked up in in the country as 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 the superstar as part one of pakistan's foremost superstar mm. you then just working with an actor and you have a director actor relationship with them where we are discussing character and ways to do it mm. and it was all very exciting and very lovely i think your concern may also have been that uh, given how big a star he is he might want more of the focus on himself whereas the story has an ensemble cast and will move according to requirements so there'll be scenes where fawad will be the center of attention and there'll be other scenes where other characters will be in the spotlight completely yes. so maybe that was a concern yeah but i think it was a preconceived when you take on a big star yeah i think it was a preconceived notion that was completely wrong because you know ah. as soon as you read the scripts you were like no they're great scripts why would i not want to do them i was like okay lovely come on ah. <laughs> so it was great great and and this uh, script i think you must have written it sometime during the pandemic i did so i think shot it yeah you know, so we were after? yeah i always get my timings wrong but i wrote it i think we shot it in 2021 and i was kind of writing it uh, 2020 beginning of 2021 we That's started right. shooting end of 2021 right. until beginning of 2022 um so it did and i think that played a lot of the the the, the mystical stuff and the um the the crisis of humanity and what does it mean life and death and all of those things i think came a lot through the pandemic i was also dealing with ah. the grief of my father's passing which actually happened during chorel's time but i think i had not accepted and 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 you know dealt with grief and moved on i think a lot of that happened once the chorel stuff was over and i kind of started reflecting i was like okay my father's gone and and i started dealing with that and and then pandemic happened and i think between those two things i got really consumed with this idea of what actually are we here for what is our purpose what happens when we die what do we leave behind is love our legacy and i think that kind of is the crux of this uh, of this show that whether doesn't matter what happens to us physically body wise if we have given enough love that love kind of stays 
and becomes eternal. So I think that kind of became the genesis of this show. Hmm. It sounds like the kind of show that requires very strong performances, given that it's not action based and yeah. not emotion based. You needed a good, strong cast of actors. Yes, you know? and I have, I have been, I'm always blessed with actors. I think it's just perhaps luck or I draw people who are so, I, I think, you know, even all my ladies in Shurels, I'm very proud of what they did and, and you know. And same thing with these guys in Berserk, like Salman Saab is just a phenomenal actor anyway. We've seen him all our lives. Mm. Um, but I think, you know, this is, you know, this is a, a, a real high of career for, hi, for him as well. I think he's just done such an incredible job um, as the father in, in the show. And then Fawad and Sanam, both Fawads. So I think they're just... I, I think I think with actors, the best thing is to give them that room to play. And I think I build that trust enough. And I think, you know, that's where my relationship with them works, where, where they have the room to breathe and not feel restricted. And then we have a lot of rehearsal time where we practice a lot. We try a few different things. Some work, some don't. So that permission to fail, I think that when you give that to an actor, they soar because they know that no one is judging them and they can try mm -hmm. takes in different ways. And if something doesn't stick, we move on and we do it another way. So I think that is what drives us to authenticity and honesty in Asim, performance. I think all this can only be achieved through the web series. With TV, you don't have this kind of time to have the permission to fail and to try again and to do it at your own pace, at your own artistic, creative pace. Yes. Which is why you probably won't. Well, that's why I, sh I shy away from TV television. Drama. You know, every now and then, in recent times, I see stuff that's coming. I don't, I don't sit down and see all of it, but I hear of stuff or I've seen parts of episodes. Then I'm like, okay, you know, television is going somewhere. There is some good stuff coming out. Mm -hmm. um, but, but yes, you're right. I can't work at the at the pace. And I think if I if I ever do television, it'll have to be at my pace. But then you're doing web series. And you do the web series, it's not in Pakistan. That's the bittersweet truth. I know, that is the bittersweet truth. Um, and I've, I've, I struggled with that a lot during yeah. Turel's time, when it happened, when the ban happened. And I was like, oh. The ban happened shortly after Turel started streaming, right? Shortly afterwards, maybe a month uh, or two, two months yeah, later. It, it was, it's all very strange and I don't want to be a conspiracy theorist myself. <laughs> but you know, it, it was a month of completely fine people watched it. Yeah. Yes, there were fractions, the religious fraction who's, who thought it was bad. But it was just debates happening and yeah. it was fine. It, what, it hadn't become this thing. And then that Hina Bayat's uh, uh, video gets posted online, just that clip out of context. And then there were multiple, and this is when I say I don't want to be a conspiracy theorist, when you have multiple bot-like accounts on Twitter retweeting and tweeting and becoming and making that trend, mm. um, which was a bit bizarre. And then from on the basis of that, then the regulatory authorities reached out to Z5 and kind of, oh, it was messy. Um, but but yeah, a month, a month and a half into it, I think first the credit card thing was happened. First they said remove Turels, then I think Z5 removed Turels for two days, reinstated it. It's a bit messy. I don't know exactly what happened. But yeah, so I, that was upsetting. That was upsetting. But I, I you know, I, I have realized that I'm a storyteller for very selfish reasons. It's because I want to tell stories. And I will go wherever someone allows me to tell that story. And that is, that is an, that is the truth about me that I do not feel the need to hide anymore. But Asim, don't you want people to see Of course the, I want people, people to see The people around it. you, of course, around the world people will see it. And Bawad Khan, Sanam say that's going to be a big peg pulling them through. Yes, first episode on it, maybe the story and the whole ambience within the series that draws them in. Yes. But the, the biggest draw initially is going to be Ke Fawad Khan, Sanam Sai together in a series. Yeah. So around the world, people will see it. Don't you want people around you to see it? I do. Like I want as many people to see it. in lounges of course, and drawing rooms. Of course, and absolutely. Yeah. But if it's the fact that either I do the work, huh. Unless people discuss it, uh, but I do the work that I want to do, or I do work which is mainstream, which everyone discusses, but it doesn't have me in it. It doesn't have my authenticity in it, or, or my craft in it, or my vision in it. I will have to choose that one. Of course, I want the best of both worlds where I can create, and I wish it could release in Pakistan. 
and I think it's ridiculous that it, this ban is still ongoing. I don't think uh, it's going anywhere. It's very much there. Yeah. Up to this, it's not going to be No. I mean, uh, Z5 has been uh, releasing Pakistan, uh, series made in Pakistan, with gaps, ke saath, mm. but it's not, yeah. we don't get to see it. And mm. you see online comments, people asking, how can we see it? I know. What do we do? But uh, And where does that stop? Like you do, you know, tomorrow, I mean, I don't even, you know, let's say, you know, Netflix is doing a show or, or, or huh. Amazon is doing a show. And it has what you would define as bold content, but from Pakistan, you're not going to start banning. Like, where does it stop? Do you know what I mean? It's Look like, at what's trending on Netflix anyway in Pakistan. Look at what Pakistan's watching anyway. Yeah. I mean, it's... But uh, that's different now because it's the othering. Ha, uh, it's uh, not from Pakistan. Na, wo koi aur kar hai. Hum to sirf hum to dekh rahe. Hum to sirf dekh rahe. allowed hai, karna nahi allowed. Have you ever contemplated other OTT platforms? Netflix, Amazon. Um, well, sorry, so I've started others. doing a lot more work now in the UK. I live in the UK. Hmm. So I've just done, I've just directed a six part show there uh, called Count Abdullah, uh, which is for their streaming platform called ITVX. It's a UK, it's, it's for a UK channel called ITV. Um, so, yes, I have contemplated in the sense of, uh, well, Netflix hasn't ne reached, Netflix out hasn't to you. reached out to me. Well, there were initial conversations, but it didn't. It was a, a while back, but um, so it's not, it's not something that's coming, whatever's coming my way, I would be open to it. And it's V5 not, came your way, all yeah, on its own. Yeah, and also yeah. I think that it's the, it's, then it's the relationship as well, right? The relationship I have with Shailja, huh. I don't think that can be replicated in a, in a, in a more of a corporate setting, right? It's like a very personal relationship where our involvement with the script, our involvement with the show is, is from the heart. And it's, very, it's not a machinery. And I think I like that. So it's not like I'm not open to other platforms and if something great comes, I will of course entertain it. But I'm, I'm, I'm happy doing a little bit of the stuff that I'm doing in the UK, but also having this very strong nurturing support from Shilja where I can make content are in Pakistan you, that I like. Are you signed on to Z5 for an X number of No, scripts? no, no. It's no. an it's, ongoing It's an process. ongoing project by project. I wonder sometimes how long they'll have this faith in Pakistan given the antagonism coming out of Pakistan. Yeah. I mean... I, I think it's hard. It's hard. I think it's, again, it's, it's, it's uh, you know, uh, Kudos to Shailja for, for being such a supporter of... Kudos of, to us. We give them <laughs> such great series. I mean, who makes such a good series? But who gives opportunity to make this series? No, I'm sure. Yeah. Come on. I'm sure, inshallah, Barzakh, if it's as beautiful as <laughs> your... Uh, you know, the way you describe it, it sounds beautiful. Okay, maybe you don't see it here or a pirated link that you can see. I think log dekhenge. Is that pressure there? Those ठीक है आपने फवाद और सनम को based on your own uh, decision liya. But there is that pressure there of people comparing zindagi guzar hai wala couple and ab wo kaise hain expectations hain. Haan. Wo I think wo masses mein honge. Haan, bilkul. Or I think wo kuch log disappoint bhi shayad ho. Haan. Um, obviously it's not. It's a, a different romance. It's it, not your typical drama romance. It's, yeah. It's uh -huh. not. It's not those same relationships, and it's not. Uh, um, I think she's a ghost. You can. I can't tell you anything. Um, <laughs> she's something. Uh, <laughs> that she is. Sadam uh, Said is. Yeah. Yeah. But no. So I think, of course, there, but I. I haven't. I've not. I've not taken that pressure on. Like the the pressure of expectations. I just need the the finished product to be as good as I can make it. It's a great zone that you're in. You don't take out outside influences. You don't look at pressure. I mean, how hard is it? Have but you I, always been like this? No, I haven't. <laughs> I've taken, I, I, I took, I was a lot. Churels mein kaafi tha pressure. Churels mein ek waqt tha, jab for, a, for a couple of weeks, I went through this phase where I was, you know, just ignoring all the good things that were coming out. And I was just reading all the negative stuff. And whether it was from the religious fractions or it was from, you know, other discourses around gender. That? But I, I don't know, I went into that phase and I, then, then, you know, I spoke again, I spoke to Shailja and my friends and stuff and I just kind of brought myself out and I was like, I, I can't. You have to realize why you're doing this in the first place. And uh, like I said, we as storytellers, at least me, I'm very selfish. So I, the, 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 the desire to tell the story is very personal because I feel like if I don't get out of it, then I'll get something out of it. So that story doesn't have to get out of it. So, if you have a personal reason, and a personal reason, 
then I, I have to stop at some point because art will always be subjective. We will never all agree very rarely that A to Z, everyone is going to think something is beautiful or, or narrative wise it works, or it has good performances. Art is subjective. All films, all television, web series are subjective. Yes. So, kisi ko pasand aayegi, kisi ko nahi aayegi, nahi. and that's okay. Uh, you also, you're also, the way you write, you do not get fixated with gender stereotypes. I mean, a woman is not, I mean, you don't fixate on the fact that she's a woman. She has layers to her, she has personality. And even with men, you know, you explore the different uh, nuances within them. It doesn't have to be a macho man, you know. Yeah. Are, so is this there? I mean, it was very much there in Shurel's, this this way yeah. of projecting different genders. Is that there in Barzakh also? Yes, it is. It is. Is this deliberate or is that just the way you think? I think it's just the way I think. I huh. think it's not, I mean, I don't, of course I sit, I, I sit down and say like all my characters should be multi-layered and hmm. all of them should have depth because that's what makes them real. Huh, they uh, but it's be not human, like yeah? a, like mart ko alag energy dunga or aurat ko alag and i think they're it's characters. not they characters uh -huh. and i think that's been there throughout cake like you know even on adan malik's character romeo like everyone mm -hmm. spoke about like yes. you know how he was not an alpha male and no. he was so subdued yeah. and, and and so i think from there onwards i think i have just written characters that i want men to be or the men that i've seen my father was a gentle character he was my role model so for i've i've never I've never been in the company of very boisterous alpha mard mard that they that they talk about. So I never write those characters. I think there is a even even if I do to a certain degree, there has to be vulnerability and some gentleness and some um, humanity. Humanity in them, yeah. absolutely, yeah. Hmm. And same thing with, with with women. I mean, they're not you know they have to be fully fledged human beings and hmm. rather and, than and cookie cutter female characters right. huh. Huh. Um, series mania festival it's going yes. to be premiering there yes that's a big deal i yes. mean uh, i was not aware of it as much as once i googled it i realized that they are very picky about the series that they want to promote and uh, it's going to be premiering there how did that happen um well again it was all uh, the zindagi team who, who kind of did it yeah so hmm. i yeah they were Looking at whatever, because series ke festivals come out. Hmm. One whole series thing is still new compared to films, and festivals has always been hmm. a film thing usually. So you usually hear about but the listen, big... it's the future. Series, <laughs> festivals, I mean, yeah. what do we watch these days? Yeah. One after the other, we exactly. watch series, yeah. So it's going to, and then we submitted two episodes, uh -huh. and they liked it, and they asked us to come. So I think it was, it was, it was, a, it's, a, it's an honor. It's a, more than an honor. I think it's just. Relief, I don't know what the right word is, but it's it's a feeling of Barzak is in ways very unconventional. So like even with something like Churels, you know, usme masa, again, wo typical masala nahi tha, magar ek tha, tha, of course ek, it was ek, punchy, it was haan, fun. Haan. Ek cheez thi. So I was like, forget thematically and stuff, there's a little, it's like a little exciting and a little doubt. Of course, it was a um, thriller. And then Barzak was like, it's 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 magical realism, but it's as I said earlier, it's it's very it's a very quiet show. So and and of course I had full support from Shailja and Zindagi and stuff. So I was making it. And my team loved what I, we, what we were doing, and I loved personally loved what we were doing. But there is always a thing about like when it goes to an outsider first time. And you were like, okay, was I always in a bubble and have I done something stupid? Because you know you get a lot of films and series and stuff that are not good and no one sets out to make a bad show or a, or a bad film yeah. right so i think apni conviction ke sath insaan karta hai magar wo thodi ghabrahat hoti hai ki jab wo cheez bahar jaye putting ki. it out yes so i think that was a big relief in the sense that acha these independent programmers have seen it and they've connected with it and they've mm. only seen two episodes and they're still connected with it and they want us to come so i think that was a that was like okay fine hopefully we are on the right track the whole series will be premiering there? Or no, just, just two episodes. Two so episodes. they always do because it's like a like a film, pack, like one, two hours basically. Right. How yeah. many episodes are there? Six they? episodes. Really? An hour each. Yeah. How lovely. Yeah. I like that also. Yeah. To tell a story in a concise, yeah. evocative way. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, it, didn't need, it didn't need more. <laughs> and because you are catering to this platform where very difficult. 
I think शायद तेरा चौदह पैसे कैसे कमाएंगे इन द लॉन्ग रन यू आर सो आर्टिस्टिक आई मीन आई एम श्योर जी फाइव एम श्योर इज ग्रे बट यू नो डायरेक्टर्स ऑल अक्रॉस पाकिस्तान स्वेयर बाय हाउ लुक रिट ऑफ द ड्रामा इंडस्ट्रीज एंड ड्रामा कमर्शियल ऑल ऑफ दिस थिंग्स आई थिंक थैंक गॉड आई बीन लकी आई बीन लकी इन द सेंस ऑफ uh <laughs> being paid well uh but also uh as i said i'm getting more work in the uk hmm. um so you know i think financially i'll be hopefully okay kabhi ho sakta zarurat pad jaye ha you're not greedy maybe kyunki aap isse zyada okay ho sakte the you have made a name for yourself i think you drama kare to yeah, you'll get a producer I, maybe for you sure. don't you don't know this about me but i left investment banking to do this no i did not yeah so i did investment banking for 10 years I was in finance, hmm. and so I've seen a world with where I've earned a lot, uh-huh. and my soul's been empty. So oh. I think a, a big reason for leaving that was like I was like I'm going to leave the money and fulfill my soul. So I think that the the mindset it's not I'm not there's nothing wrong with wanting to earn money and everyone deserves it and should earn it, but I think my just criteria was slightly different. Where of course I want to earn enough to be comfortable. but i don't need to earn so much where i'm doing stuff that crushes my soul because then it defeats the purpose phir main bank mein hi rehta phir main chhodta hi nahi to i think wo is the like not so much even dramas like people occasionally told me like ek do commercials to kar lo yes. aur maine socha bhi ke chalo mm. ek ad kar leta hu ho sakta hai main karun bhi future mein magar abhi tak wo threshold raha hai ki yaar that's not why you decided to leave everything to do this so Do But this is also a slow process. I mean, Barzakh to took its time, yes, and yes. even now the release date is approximately March on Z5. Yeah. But I haven't gotten an official release date. It will probably be a little later because March में तो series में नहीं है, so it's not going to release before the world premiere. So I I think it will probably stre- I personally think it will stretch to May June. Really? Um, yeah, I would oh. have thought so. Yeah, because I think we will do series mania. We might do a couple more festivals. Um, Uh, internationally before releasing it also primarily it's um it has a it's not very vfx heavy special effects heavy mm. uh, but it has some very detailed work around special effects mm. that is just taking time because it's also my first time doing special effects yeah. again like i said i'm a learner so i'm learning. but you wanted to push yourself yes. in that direction yeah so yeah. i think it's it, it's those things and getting it right because agar koi bahut action film hoti hai na तो उसमें आप इफेक्ट्स अगर 70 80 परसेंट में भी हो यू काइंड ऑफ लाइक चलो चलेगा बिकॉज यू आर इन दैट वर्ल्ड व्हेन यू इन अ वेरी डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ अ सरियल एंड यू पुट इन सम स्पेशल इफेक्ट तो उसमें हां तो उसमें अगर स्पेशल इफेक्ट डजंट जेल इन देन इट विल टेक यू आउट ऑफ द द मिस्ट्री ऑफ द शो एंड आई थिंक आई डोंट वांट दैट सो आई थिंक आई एम आल्सो बीइंग अ लिटिल नेटपिकी विद ट्राइंग टू मेक श्योर दैट एवरीथिंग इज राइट एंड अगेन you know zindagi has been very like they don't have a danda on my head ke bhai deliver karo hame they are like you make the project that you're happy with we will release it according to when you deliver all the six episodes which so is why it took its time yeah. in releasing yeah. so it's been under production in once the shooting had wrapped yes it's a, the edit took a long time uh-huh. uh, the episodes were you know we had to contain them we had to figure out again there was a lot more structural stuff that we had to figure out in the editing as well so that took a while mm-hmm. and then everything i think it's just it's just one of those things where the post production process is much longer the imagery looks beautiful though you know in this few stills that i've seen yes moaz me doing his magic ha and it's uh, acha okay and yeah. and it's uh, i think autumn leaves hain kahin kahin hunza ka so that's the, the fall is a huge part of the show so the entire this is new information the entire show Haan, happens over over a course of 4 days oh yeah The, there are a lot of flashback stuff but the the the, the present timeline in the show is just 4 days so we were shooting over a course of 3 months and in hunza fall is it comes very quickly and it goes very quickly uh-huh. so we had to scheduling the show was very very difficult and my ad's did a fantastic job where we had to shoot interiors first we had to reserve exteriors for that couple Particular of weeks season. that we were going to have yeah. fall in also then uh, there's a fall comes down so on the peak of the mountains and the higher regions fall comes early and then it travels down so anything that we were shooting above had to be shot earlier so at least in the show you guys will feel that there's a autumn continuity but we had to completely break continuity to be able to shoot it like that so mm-hmm. i think it was it was a tough shoot also just being away from home for for a crew of 100 plus 
yeah. uh, for three months on end yes. in the mountains, which is beautiful, but mountains are also very melancholic. And if you spend lots of time there and you see summer turn into fall and then fall turn into winter, you feel like you've been there for a lifetime. We, three months together uh-huh. away from home. So we spent time together and, and but there were like there were hardships. There were hardships. People missed home. There were tears. There were, you know, it's it's a it's like, you know, my production designer Arij always says like it's like going to, it was like going to war because we were literally shipping everything from here because we had access to the things. Of course. Um, so it, it really felt like we had prepped for war and gone there. And, and why Hunza? Why not a more easier uh, a uh, hill station up in marine athya gali why hunza particularly i think uh, there was a calling i had never been to hunza but mm-hmm. i had seen pictures of it and i just kind of knew in my head that that is what that was the world those are the visuals you yeah need. and also you know there's a lot that we again we don't talk about hunza and we don't talk about that specific culture mm-hmm. but there's a lot from that culture about shamans and mountains and what lives beyond the mountains there that is th- there is a lot within their culture yeah uh, uh that we borrowed from uh we borrowed from other did you research into this while writing oh, yeah. the script it was, it was a it's a hugely research show uh-huh. it's a hugely research show and into into everything because not just what pre-islamic religion looked like what uh what persian mythology looked like mm. what even so far as you know borrowing stuff from like about shamans and and from celtic culture and stuff like that so there was a lot like zoroastrianism and stuff so there's a lot from other religions and other cultures that is kind of amalgamated to create this world but asim are you is it are the religious elements in this show that could turn out to be problematic i'm I wondering hope not. why no 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 i think it's just about more the mythology around it and uh, more the the mystery yeah yes. and i think there are uh, there, again there is no mention of islam there's no mention of, of any religion. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah of of yeah acha but after chorels this is your this is your venture after chorels right yeah. there's been a gap in the middle are you uh, and you had to endure quite a bit of backlash with chorels are you worried ke phir se koi backlash na ho jaye ya ye is tarah ka hai hi nahi aapko lagta hai ke is nahi backlash dhoondne wale to dhoondenge acha ha mil jayegi ha कुछ ना कुछ तो मिलेगा फॉर श्योर sure मिलेगा <laughs> अगर किसी को <laughs> अगर किसी को ठंडा करना है तो वो फिर ढूंढेगा और वो कुछ निकालेगा बट अगर आई आई डोंट नो फॉर मी चुरेल वॉज एन प्रॉब्लमैटिक फॉर मी बर्जाक इज नॉट प्रॉब्लमैटिक दैट्स ऑल आई कैन से यू नो एंड बट आई थिंक आई एम आई हैव अ थिक स्किन नाउ देन आई डेट इन चुरेल आई थिंक आई एम I'm also older, slightly older and wiser and I think I am very aware of what I want to say and how I want to say it. Hmm. Um and uh, yeah, I think I will not. I think the only time I've thought about censors is when I did cake. Ah. उस टाइम पे सिर्फ मैंने सोचा था कि ये मुझे नहीं, रिलीज तो करने तो नहीं है ना आपके हाँ, सर पे तो अब मैंने सोचना वो बंद कर दिया एंड एंड माइट नॉट इवन बी सीन क्वाइट एज इजीली इन पाकिस्तान यस सो एज इट इज योर काइंड ऑफ सेफ फ्रॉम दैट बैंड वैगनिंग जो एक हो जाती है हाँ, कुछ हद तक आप बचे हालांकि देखी जाएगी आई थिंक आई होप आई होप देखी जाए आई होप पसंद की जाए आई होप दिस सी that we can make other kinds of stuff it's uh, you know. that's what i was going to say also maybe they'll see that there are other forms of storytelling that can emerge from pakistan yeah. because not having seen even a glimpse of it i asked for a glimpse and they were said ke nahi abhi koi glimpse nahi so <laughs> i just from what you've been telling me i think it is a form of storytelling that maybe i haven't seen in pakistan perhaps no? yeah 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 Is there any I, I, series that it's like that you could say कि ये उसके जैसी है या एक movie जिसके जैसी है? नहीं, I don't think so. I don't. Not not. I mean, I'm not saying this to big myself up or yeah. anything like that. I so I totally a product of your yeah, imagination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds emotionally heavy. I think uh, I is, cry. Is. I cry a lot during <laughs> shows. I think this one's gonna. Make it is me cathartic. Cry. I hope it, it is, is cathartic. cathartic. Yeah. Yes, it's that kind of story. <laughs> Did you feel emotional while writing it also? Um, em- yes, emotionally exhausted. <laughs> emotionally exhausted because you write it over yes. the span of days yeah, and, and yeah. something that nuanced 
yeah. know, with all so many layers. Yeah. So it, it does it does take it because it's an element of purging, right? Because you 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 are bringing a lot of your own, own feelings grief out. and your yes. own pain into the writing haan. process. Haan. Haan. Okay, last question. I think I've grilled you for long haan. enough. Um, what was it like once the shoot wrapped up? I know there was a, I mean, there must have been a point since for three months you guys were all together. There must be a point where the cast and crew would unwind. What did you guys do up in the mountains all by yourself? Haan. Haan. What did we do? I like you know we were we were literally all in the same hotel, so we we had become like a family, and like there was, you know, someone would cook, one of the actors would cook, or they would like you know, um, there were a couple of birthday parties that they celebrated oh. every evening because we'd had the hotel lobby. You know, someone or the other who was not working would be there, and you just come after a really hard day and just chill and unwind there. So I think that was really good. We were really there mm-hmm. for each other in terms of support because I think. Like I was saying, that uh, we didn't have our families there, we didn't have our loved ones months. there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we were seeing seasons change, and it got super cold, super, super cold. So I think that companionship that we got from each other was just really lovely. Who in was terms the best of, cook? Uh, who was the best? Fawad cooked. Really? Yeah, Fawad cooked. He's a good cook. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, who else cooked? Uh, Anika would make these lovely brownies. Uh, she's a Canadian actress who, who has a, who was here for this, and she has a role in it. Um, Did you cook? I didn't. I'm 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 a, I'm, a, I'm a, a horrible cook. Probably don't know anything. And I and I was too tired. Yeah, it's good. So You're I good was at fed sometimes by my actors. You cooked up the story. I, yes, I cooked up the stories, and and the actors cooked up and fed me every now and then. So that was good. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to Barza. Let's see when it releases and when it finds its way to us in Pakistan. Yeah. No, Good I would luck. love for you guys to see it. So I hope it it does release in Pakistan. I'm going to see it. I hope <laughs> a micro. Let's see. Thank you, Asim. Thank you for having me.